Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of ski ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. Can the shark discover the miracle of self-love? used to take Kyle to the carnival when he wasn't nothing but an itty-bitty boy. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark hunter. in its pursuit of their glory. Our shark hunters will not give up on finding their prey, at least until things quiet down or they run out of heart. I used to take God to the carnival when he was nothing but an idiot. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. Founder of America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybelle Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. The profusion of parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. No such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand, 
Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. America's largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking.
sharks in their place. Hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane. So we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. in mind that in certain respects, a shark is merely a highly skilled killing machine, driven by appetite and little else. Being natural cowards, shark hunters will often call for backup upon spotting their prey. Sapphire Bay with a short situation. Roll up! We got a dumb shot. Mama Maybell, but she always give me a fair price on fiends. contact with
Another shark hunt draws to a close. side of the hammerhead's cartilaginous skull allow them to locate potential prey. Sapphire Bay has had several piers, three that were destroyed by hurricanes, and two that collapsed due to substandard construction and safety deficiencies.
The shark hunter is the only thing keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death. Outsiders are just avoiding the beach for a few hours. Fishing Phenom, Candyman Curtis. Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. Daddy's taking me here for sailing lesson. Sit up on his trawler waving his hunting rifle, yelling at me to sail faster. Get some water in her gills. cartilage can now be utilized for scientifically specious alternative cures and health supplements. Greeting the Red Tide has become an annual tradition in Port Clovis. Every June, locals gather to watch the toxic algae bloom's sinister encroachment on the city's coastline and beaches.
remarkable how quickly Fort Clovis picks up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Seaside Sparrow. But, you know, they went extinct in 2007. Should have brought my fish finder. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Can you look up That's it for now. Head back to base. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. For some shark in Sapphire Bay? Get loaded for shark! It's hunting time! 